The Halloween update could be the biggest opportunity for anime adventures. Special events are a great way for developers to give back to their players, especially the free-to-play players. Too many times the events are underwhelming and give you nothing in return for all the grinding you do on the game. I'm not saying developers need to give free-to-play unlimited stuff or the best units, but give them a way to grind for exclusive items or an easier way to grind for items that are typically pay to win is pretty much the key to having successful holiday events or even special events in general. General. For example, the traits. If the anime adventures devs were really smart, they give everyone a way to grind guaranteed drops that can be used for trait rerolls. I'm not saying make it easy enough to where pay to play players are upset, but just extra trait rerolls over the course of the event would be a nice little addition to whatever else we have to grind for during the event. On top of the obvious stuff coming with the Halloween update, like the regular dungeons and new mythics, stuff that's pretty much in every new update. I also think they should add a few more things that would incentivize all of us to really grind. The first thing is a an exclusive Halloween mission board, similar to what they did when with the fairy tale event or fairy tale update. I think exclusive challenges, whether it's solo or with other people that give special rewards, Halloween trait reroll tokens, like I mentioned, something to grind for that gives you a special token that you normally wouldn't get. Exclusive Halloween skins, obviously they're tradable but Halloween skins are a must and I can almost guarantee that they're coming. Halloween unit that is going to be evoable and it has to be good. It can't just be some trash unit that no one ever wants to use. And I think trait luck pots would be so clutch. The chances to get a good trait right now are literally impossible. Having luck potions that you can grind for and increase your luck just a little bit. I'm not saying drastically. Increase your luck just a little bit would be really cool and maybe increase drop percentages. Stuff like that makes it feel fun to grind during the update compared to any other update it has to be it has to feel fresh and unique when it comes to Halloween updates or events in my opinion a lot of these Roblox devs seem to not understand even regular games like Overwatch right now are just they're just terrible with their special events I also think coming with the event or the update should be haunted castle or even a graveyard dungeon something that is decorated and has maybe like a some jump scares type stuff, maybe even multiple spawns. I don't know how possible it is in these tower defense games to have multiple spawns, but having multiple spawns would be so cool to have in this event. Halloween gems to summon from an exclusive banner would be amazing as well. I think there needs to be a regular banner, which is obviously use your regular gems for that have the update seven units. But I think having an exclusive Halloween banner would be really cool where the units have the skins already equipped or even exclusive mythics that are in that banner something to like even the playing field for all players i know anime fighters did that with their halloween event but the unit was actually trash if anime adventures wants to really kill this this update they have an exclusive halloween banner that only uses a special type of gem to summon from so it doesn't matter whether you start playing during this update or not, you still have a chance to grind for those gems and get all the units from that banner. I think that would be really cool. And of course, a secret Halloween unit. What would be a special event without a secret Halloween unit? There needs to be separation between the Halloween event and update seven. Sure, it's technically all one update, but I feel like people would be really disappointed if there's not a distinct difference compared to previous updates. I think at the very least, we need the lobby and New World to be completely Halloweenified. Is that even a word? With pumpkins and spooky stuff, it's a lot of effort, but would make the game a ton more fun. Speaking of the Halloween update, it is a regular update after all. I think it is most likely going to be Chainsaw Man due to its popularity and its very relevant anime manga currently. I don't know too much about it. I've kind of been avoiding anything to do with Chainsaw Man because I really want to binge the anime when it's finished airing or maybe I'll read the manga. Who knows? I think Chainsaw Man is very popular right now and would be the smart anime to choose when going into this update. Since this is still a technically a regular update, I think the devs need to add some quality of life changes and I think I really could make an entire video on the things that would improve the player experience in anime adventures but some things that I think are possible and could possibly be coming this update are 2x speed for infinite to make farming quicker uh, at least 2x I think it ne could go up to four times anything faster is a little ridiculous in my opinion right now it's just really inconvenient to be grinding with how strong the units are it's pretty inconvenient to sit there and wait for things to, to move along i think you need an option to repeat the level that you're, you're currently playing instantly go back into whatever stage you're grinding or working on loading into a new server and having to run back to where you can select what map you want to play on is really inconvenient 
and I think that needs to be changed. Having a repeat level option would be really, really convenient. For rolling traits, I think they really need that add an option to confirm whether you want to continue rolling. You could spend 20 bucks and roll right past a unique or a divine as far as I know. There's nothing stopping you from rolling off of it and that can really cause someone to quit the game. If I spent 50 bucks on traits and I was just a casual player, maybe I got some birthday money or whatever, and I rolled past an insane trait, I would be really upset and consider quitting the game, to be honest. There needs to be something stopping you from accidentally rolling off your, your best traits. And I think converting old event items into trait rerolls or summon tickets would be really convenient and help clear up the inventory. Right now, the inventory gets really cluttered when the new updates release because you're just there with items that you can't use. So having those, being able to convert them into something useful would be way better than having them just sit in the inventory. I feel like everything I've mentioned so far are fairly simple things to implement. But what are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments. If you're unsure of how to prepare for the Halloween update to the best of your ability, check out my last video where I go over some things to grind for and I'll talk to you in the next one. Peace.